Welcome to the Making More Time to Study series, brought to you by the AICPA and SEMA in association with Kaplan, bringing you bite-sized content in the shortest time possible. According to our recent surveys, lack of time is the number one reason why we put off our studies. This short guide focuses on how to address this should you wish to recommence your studies. More specifically, we're going to focus on planning techniques. So, Stuart, in the context of studying, why does planning matter and how do you go about it? Thank you, Mark. I think the first thing to say is that planning is a step-by-step -step process, but you need to do it in the right way. So many people jump into designing the plan without really thinking what they want to achieve. So if you look on the screen now, you can see that we start really with the biggest objective of all. It says, you know, what year do you want to qualify and fit that in with the broader things within your life plan. Then you break it down and said, look, if that's the year I'd like to qualify, then how many exams do I need to do every year? And then you go further backwards again and you say, but when do I need to start? Now that's a high level plan, but it's important that you start there because it sets out your long-term objective. Following the same logic, but getting more detailed, you start to say, well, given that I'm going to start in this month, maybe January, February, what will I be doing? What will each of those specific months look like? And in there, as you can see, you build in your different exams, be it case studies or objective test style exams. You build those in, they become immovable sort of dates, they're key milestones, and then you take it back once more. This is where you start to think of actions what do I need to do in that first month that I've just decided I'm going to study? Now, I've put things like chapters here, but I mean, it could be anything. It could be, it's just that first point of kickstart in your studies. Further actions, what do I need to do now, i.e. today? And that's the key point here. What's the best way to study? Booking a course is highly recommended or booking an exam date. The reason is, is it's a milestone. It's some, it's a commitment. Most important is that exam date. And you might need to speak to your employer to get that organized. So there you have it. The key point here is this. You think and plan backwards, but you record the plan forwards. And the reason it's so effective, this technique, is that you're breaking bigger tasks down into smaller ones. And this idea of seeing what the future will look like. Another key point, though, these deadlines have to be adhered to. You put them in and you commit to them. However, there is a caveat to that, Mark. And that is that, look, things do go wrong. So they are a commitment, but things don't always go to plan. So what you need to do is be a little bit flexible. And if something does change, planning anything in terms of you know, years forward is difficult. And if things do change, then just be a little bit more flexible. After all, Darwin didn't say the strongest of the species will survive or the most intelligent. He actually said the ones that are most responsive to change. Thank you, Stuart. So to summarize, start with the end in mind. By working backwards, you'll gain a sense of what studying needs to be done and when in order to hit your desired goal. It's worth timetabling the hours you are committing to study and where possible, stick to it. From all of us at the AICPA and SEMA and Kaplan, we wish you well with your studies.